I am Richard Farmer and uh, I picked up blueberry farming about 25 years ago for an easy retirement and uh, it hasn't quite uh, worked out that way but uh, I save a lot of money by not paying any fees and whatnot at, at, at the, uh, the club, you know, the exercise club, what they call it. <laughs> The, the blueberry industry originally was more a uh, family, uh, you know, hand raking and I, I understand that they used to put the blueberries in barrels of water and ship them from Monk's George and that sort of stuff. Now it has it become a, a commodity rather than, a, you know, a specialty fruit. As you know, the blueberry is a wild plant. It was found here, so you, you don't plant them. You, you kill everything else that you don't want. You, you eliminate all your weeds. We concentrate on what we call our sprout year, the off har harvest year, with our weed control. And then in your, your fruit year, we don't put on any herbicides. Pollination is very, very important to get a crop because we have a concentrated set of uh, blossoms at a particular time. And uh, the native bees are good and actually they're the best bees but we don't have enough of them. We, we try to encourage them as much as, as we can. And we supplement the native bees with honeybees, bumblebees, and I use uh, alfalfa leaf cutter bees as well. We try to get all the plants pollinated in a two week period so that our fruit all ripens at the, approximately the right time. The, the interaction is interesting because the, the bumblebee will get the flower to release the pollen and will move lots of pollen from the male flower to the female flower. And then the other bees could spread that around. And so you, you get quite a bit of cooperation between the bees. The bees get along quite well together. The, the bees are so important that it, it's hard to imagine getting a crop, a commercial crop, a, a viable crop without bees. We, we need that mass pollination in that short period of time. So we, we have to have bees. Someday, maybe someone's going to come around with a little drone that will do it, I don't know. But right now, we can't live without bees. 